Welcome, my brothers and sisters, to the God Minute. It's the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday, often known as Shrove Tuesday or Fat Tuesday, a day of celebration and the last time for us to hear the beautiful Alleluia until we hear it again on Easter. This is Father Michael along with the rest of the team inviting you to pray with us on this festival day before we begin the Lenten season of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving for the renewal of our hearts and our lives. Let's place ourselves in the presence of the Lord and call upon God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 96. A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. A couple months ago, I was searching for some extra toy bins at ministry, and I was digging through a number of mystery closets I had never seen before. When I opened one door, I found a bunch of sports equipment and boxes of stuff, and as I started to sift around the items, I found buried beneath a piano, an electric piano. Eureka! You see, I enjoy playing the piano on occasion, but didn't really have access to one, so I asked if we could dig it out and see if it works. The operations folks put it in the meditation room. They cleaned it up, and they told me it worked and was ready. I was so excited. So with sheet music in hand, I sat down to play a favorite piece, and it started out great. The keys moved nicely. There was good sound. Then I reached for an F-sharp. Silence. I pressed the key again. No sound. How disappointing. How do you play a song in the key of G major without an F sharp? I guess I could go an octave higher or lower, but that would change the song. That's not how the piece was written. I decided to just keep playing the song as it was, but every time I went to hit that F sharp key, there was something missing, and I noticed it. Every time. 
and it bothered me. Every time. But it didn't seem to bother anyone else. The other person I hadn't realized was in the room enjoyed the music and didn't mention anything about the lack of F sharpness in the piece. What I perceived as lacking, another perceived as beautiful. What I heard was imperfect, another heard as perfect. What I thought was distracting, another thought was peaceful. And that is why this story popped in my mind while I was reflecting with today's scripture from the book of Proverbs. Lean not on your own understanding, your own perceptions or thoughts. Be open to the surprising ways God makes crooked paths straight. Have you ever heard the phrase, God makes straight with crooked lines? Well, I think it's also true that God makes music with our broken notes. What we perceive as incomplete, God makes whole. What we feel is lacking, God brings to fullness. What we think is divided, God unites. Theologian Karl Rahner famously stated, In the torment of the insufficiency of everything attainable, we finally learn that here in this life, all symphonies must remain unfinished. We experience the transcendent beauty of the music, but we will always be longing for that union with God, that oneness not attained on this side of eternity. So, here in this life, all symphonies remain unfinished. And if you're playing the piano at St. Vincent de Paul Center in Chicago, all songs remain without an F sharp. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we have the privilege to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, clothe us in your power, that we may generously and constantly respond to your call in our life, accomplishing your will by our sacrifice and our love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God bless you and your loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining us in prayer on this Mardi Gras. As I mentioned, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lent. We will have a live opportunity tomorrow to pray before the Blessed Sacrament to begin our Lenten journey. It will be about 10 minutes, starting at noon Central Standard Time. You can go to our YouTube page where it will go live at noon Central Standard Time. It will then stay on our YouTube page and website blog for you to access throughout the day on Ash Wednesday if you can't make that live event at noon. Also, I want to encourage you to go to our webpage and see the information we will post on all our Lenten activities and suggestions. God bless you all. Take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.